All initiates get one authorized weapon. No more, no less. You're here. Good. To review the current situation, one of our patrols located a cache of dangerous weapons in a raider storeroom. Stolen Brotherhood weapons, no less. Your assignment is to secure the storeroom for the Brotherhood, and the weapons along with it. I'll put together a squad and meet you there. But given the situation, it's imperative you arrive there as soon as possible. Any questions, Initiate? I should put negligence on your record for asking that question. Lucky for you, I don't have the time. If you can recall your last assignment, it had to do with putting down a rabid den of blood eagles in possession of military-grade rocket launchers. The same kind of rocket launchers were discovered in the possession of some raiders from Crater. Needless to say, that's a problem, and we are going to fix it. Care. Are you insinuating this is a personal matter? I am carrying out the Brotherhood's mission. The reason our logo is on those weapons is because we swore to keep them out of civilian hands. Now it's time to fix our mistake. Paladin Romani forbids engagement without warning. So, we will attempt to speak to them when we arrive. That being said, the Raiders have already made it clear they're determined to be our enemies. Stealing supplies, ambushing patrols, using Brotherhood weapons to terrorize the region. If they are unwilling to cooperate, we will put our foot down. So be prepared for combat. One last thing. We need to confirm the weapon's source. I find it unlikely the Raiders will be willing to talk until after we send them a very clear message. If any of them are still alive after that, we can question them. But priority one is securing the weapons they already have. That will be all. Dismissed. For your sake, I hope this is a scheduled visit, Initiate. Fort Atlas is in good hands. I think our saviors have finally arrived. I wonder what the uh, Brotherhood's leader is like. He's a real hard ass and he's all these rough and tumble soldiers in line.
Looks like we have a visitor. Did the Brotherhood send you? Didn't know they were working with run-of-the-mill average wastelanders. Thought they wanted you strapped into one of those tin cans round the clock. Nah, it's wrong of me to judge by appearances, though. Why don't you introduce yourself? That's so. You got a deed to go with that claim? Cause, uh, we're not gonna sign it. This vault and all material goods within are hereby under possession of the Brotherhood of Steel. This requisition will aid us in the preservation of technology and the protection of mankind. Your compliance will ensure your safety. You know, I'm interested in hearing more about this protection of mankind business. I suppose killing a few no-good raiders is an easy price to pay for the benefit this measly little vault will provide for us as a species. Is that it? I repeat, your compliance will ensure your safety. Not that I'd expect a simple-minded brute to understand. Resorting to name-calling already. I have to say, I'm disappointed. Thought I'd be able to speak to someone civilized from a big-shot organization like yours. What about you, Forward Scout? Think we can work this one out? Or are your underpants in as tight of a bunch as Mr. Compliance over there? You do have a point. This place doesn't offer us any strategic leverage over the Brotherhood. If anything, you're gonna waste more resources protecting a place so far away from your home base. So then, it must be the weapons that are important to you. What's so special about these rocket launchers that a top-ranking member would come to collect them himself? I don't know how you became aware of our internal hierarchy, but it's irrelevant to the situation. You will leave the weapons in the vault and disperse. Now. How about you? Do you seriously take orders from this constipated suit of metal? Terrorize? We're out here trying to survive, just like anyone else. Meanwhile, the Brotherhood is marching around in power armor, threatening people who don't meet its demands. You tell me who's the real terror. We're heading back to Crater. This stash isn't worth it. Not so fast. Tell us where you got those weapons from. Ooh, sorry. I don't discuss Raider affairs on Brotherhood territory. If you really want to know, you can come talk to me in Crater. Don't worry. If it's only one of you, we don't usually kill on sight. Now let us through. We completed the first part of our mission. I can't say I agree with your methods. Talking things through gives the impression of a compromise. The Brotherhood doesn't compromise. We determine what needs to be done, and we do it. You did do the second part right, so I'll leave it at that. Moving forward, we still need to track down the weapon source. That man appeared to know something. I don't care how you get it out of him, but make sure you get it. We'll set up some Protectrons to guard it, and transfer the weapons back to Fort Atlas. After that, it can be used as an intermediate storehouse for anything our patrols find in the northern part of Appalachia. I thought the raiders were bad enough before that vile Cretan opened his mouth. And we just let him... This is off-topic, Initiate. Don't ask me a question like that again. This is your top priority. The longer we let these weapons spread, the more difficult it will be to track down all of them.
can't believe they had the nerve to just barge in like that. That knight acts like some kind of righteous savior. So, you really came? Huh. To be honest, I didn't expect the Brotherhood to show its face around here with anything less than a fully armored battalion. Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? So, what can I do for you, oh honorable emissary of steel? About that. <laughs> you and your metal buddies put me in a pretty tight spot back there. There are people here in Crater depending on me. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it back to them. So I prioritized a little bit. Getting home to those people was more important than being completely sincere to a group of heavily armed tyrants. So if you're looking for help with your little weapon problem, you can look somewhere else. Don't you think you're being stubborn, Pierce? We have a good little brotherhood peon here at our disposal. We can make use of that. We've been over this. There's no compromising with people like the brotherhood. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. We don't know that yet for sure. Besides, everyone has their own motivations. Our visitor might have one worth talking about. I won't rely on a betrayal to take them down. You should know that. I have nothing left to discuss. I've given you my answer, Initiate. Now for your sake, I'd suggest you don't stick around. Hey, you. Don't leave yet. I've got something to say. Don't mind Pierce, he's stubborn. Holds too tightly to his morals. I'll tell you about the weapons, but you're gonna need to give me something in return. Interested? I want intel on the Brotherhood. Records, roster, correspondence. You've got people specialized in keeping track of that sort of thing, right? Transfer their data onto this holotape and bring it back to me. Then I'll tell you what you wanna know. We're not on friendly terms with the Brotherhood. What do you think we're gonna do with it? Don't worry. If the Brotherhood is as powerful as they are confident, then it shouldn't make any difference, right? How do you know about our war room? About that vault where you ambushed Pierce? We have eyes the same way you do. Remember it. This isn't a betrayal. It's just good business sense. Toodles.
settlers, they want to rebuild. But they're only looking to the future. We need to understand the past as well. I'm not sure I can. We are well, if it isn't my favorite initiate, bound. how can I help? Sure. Always happy to talk tech with an initiate. I'd like to reverse engineer it and make more, of course. With the amount of energy it can unleash, we could power all kinds of things for a very long time. How far a vertebrate could fly on ultrasite power? No, I don't think so. As much as I'd love to, we're too short-handed, and I just don't have that kind of expertise. We'll have to make do with learning what we can from the project for now. Sure thing. What's the next topic? Sure. What needs explaining? We're the heart of the Brotherhood's mission to find, catalog, and preserve pre-war technology. Though sometimes in practice, well, let's just say I spend a lot of time calibrating things. We record things. Histories, schematics, every bit of knowledge we can get our hands on. We collect it all, compile it, and keep it safe, like old scholars or monks. Our name harkens back to that ancient tradition, so... That's why we use it. Someday, you have what it takes. I've seen that much. I'd have you promoted here and now if I could. But the Brotherhood is slow to trust outsiders. You'll have to keep working for it. Be patient, put in your time, and know that I have your back. Sure, what do you want to talk about? Lucky for you, I know all about us. We're an order dedicated to the preservation of science and technology. We find and catalog knowledge from before the bombs and keep it safe. You could say that. You could also say we have no right to keep knowledge to ourselves. That everyone deserves to learn. Oh, we get that from time to time. I can see the argument, but I believe in our mission. Nobody else does what we do. If not for us, all the old tech would just rust away. California, all the way across the continent. I've read that people used to fly that distance in a few hours, but the trek took us months. Maybe eventually we'll get flying again, but for now it's an arduous journey. We're here to help the people of Appalachia, and to catalog any technological discoveries we find. We set up Fort Atlas to that end. This old observatory has a wealth of technology to discover, and is a good staging point for future operations. We also want to learn the fate of the old Appalachian chapter of our order. MIA. Presumed KIA. To be honest, that's what I expected to hear. At least they died trying to make a difference. May they rest in peace. I... Uh, knew some of them. From a distance. But... Uh, it's better if we don't get into that now. The Council of Elders, chief among them. Hi, Elder Maxon, our founder. He proclaimed our mission and set us on the path we follow today. Our expedition leader is Paladin Romani. She's an aggressive and daring commander who's taken us through many trials. Okay, what do you want to know? Raiders, huh? If they're anything like the raiders we've encountered on the expedition route, then... My guess is the situation isn't pretty. All right. How can I help? Mm hmm I think I understand. The funny thing about data is you don't know what's real or not. Not unless you gathered it yourself. To be honest, I was working on encrypting my terminal for this kind of situation. 
So, if anyone accessed it who wasn't supposed to, they would just get false info and none would be the wiser. I didn't finish, but you can still use the fake data I created. Should be clearly labeled in the files. Just uh, don't select the wrong one. This is the raiders we're talking about. It'd be bad news if they got an advantage on us. Worse, if the knight found out it was because of me. Everything makes sense now. This is my place, my mission. It's not likely to happen anytime soon, but an enemy could use our names, skills, and history to trick other members or develop a targeted strategy. I may also begin storing schematics and stockpile records on there. Right now, the Knight is doing it all by hand. Well, for now, I just hope we don't make too many enemies. I don't expect much from the Raiders, but maybe they're smarter than they give off. Well, you know, just trying to help where I can. Rusty nails and live wires are fun and all, but sometimes it's also nice to write code without having to get my hands dirty. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Never gonna make any of this all without the fort. I get to go out and prove my worth. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it. Just a few more tweaks, and then it's back to working on that vertebrae. New recruits, night shins training, weapons, and a base like this. We're gonna be invincible. Wonder what legacy I'll leave to the scrolls. Find, protect, preserve. Everything makes sense. The elders have so much to teach us. Stay strong, friend. No telling what the next challenge will hold. I can do more than just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm on patrol day? Atlas Project Research Log 104. Lieutenant Marks and I have begun calibrating the ion beam accelerator. We've hit a plateau at the 300 MeV threshold. Oh, micro variations in the magnetic flux are disrupting the Betatron induction loop. <laughs> the lieutenant is working on a firmware update for the coil controller. She said she'll have a wobble out by Monday. Assembly of the main device remains on schedule. The Air Force is nothing if not punctual. Colonel Oberlin is still pressing for the facility to be fully operational before the end of the year. As much as I want to see my research in action, we need to proceed carefully. If this goes wrong, the results could be catastrophic. Atlas has the potential to change the world. Or destroy it. Atlas Project Research Log 292. 93. 93. It's been five months. Five months since that day. They abandoned me. The military never believed in Atlas. It was just another weapon. When the nukes fell, never forget what did it matter? 
Atlas, this research. It's been my life's work. We need Atlas. The world needs Atlas. Now more than ever, I have to finish it. Everything I need, it's, it's all here. I just need time. And hands. I've activated all the robots. They're security bots. They were, they were programmed for this, but it's all I've got. I can make it work. I've replaced the main lens, finished the particle analysis. I think the accelerator is finally stable. I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. Just a little more. It's almost done. Almost done. Alive today. I'll take that as a victory. You've got the holotape? Good, thanks. The weapons don't have one source. Some of them we looted off a group of unfortunate settlers. We've also traded them among ourselves. Some old friends visited Crater a while back, wielding that firepower, claiming they earned it in a fight. They were bragging about it till the day they left. Said they sent some big armored folks running. I can't confirm that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons, wasn't it? Doesn't matter to me. Now, I told you what I know. With any luck, we won't talk again. Yep, they may or may not have more, but they've definitely come in contact with them. West. They said they passed through Ohio before coming here. I don't know how much further out they went. They wouldn't shut up about it, so I learned to tune it out pretty quick. But I do remember them passing around a helmet with a bullet hole through its visor. A trophy from the Fallen. Don't change your mind. This was a one-time offer, and it's one that neither of us will speak of again.
The fight is just beginning. Stay disciplined. Stay on your toes. The waste of fine is merciless. That, I see you returned from Crater. Standing by for your report. We'll build something better for everyone. Hmm. That's not what I was hoping to hear. All right. Tell me about the sources. I see. And are those raiders still at Crater? It's impressive how much they've managed to rebuild here. Spiders it can't be helped then. We need to focus on Appalachia for the moment. Without more information, it's impossible to say. We fought plenty of raider groups across the entire expedition route. I'd like to pursue them as much as you would, Initiate. But those were not our orders from Elder Maxon. We have duties in Appalachia. Ones that we've delayed for long enough as it is. Not as young as you used to be, Layla. And the other one. Spend all day hunched over the fort. Foundation 2. This is bad. Worse than I thought. At this rate, all of Appalachia will be toting these rocket launchers. All because of... Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my composure. We need to follow up with Foundation as soon as possible. We're gonna have to bring the Crater Raiders under control eventually. Peaceful or not, civilians should not have access to that kind of technology. It's too easy for things to go wrong. Take the Great War as an example. That catastrophe is the inspiration for our mission today. You don't have clearance for that information, Initiate. Proceed with your report. So that's everything. That was a thorough report. The Brotherhood appreciates your diligence looking into this matter. Our next step is to deal with Foundation. Paladin Romani already had plans to establish contact. So, she'll want to hear about this. No need to expound everything. I'll follow up later with a more detailed report. That's classified information, Initiate. Not every operation runs perfectly. All you need to know is that we're fixing it. A knight's helmet? It must be. Two other knights embarked with us from the west coast. Knight Thornberry returned partway through the journey. Knight Connors gave his life in honorable service to the Brotherhood. Show the proper respect when asking about him. To think they held onto his helmet like a trophy. It's unforgivable. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium.